But one thing I'm going to do is give main care the energy when I come to the gym. Usually, I don't do this when I come to the gym. I do this when it's time to leave. This is actually me when I was finishing my workout because I was feeling really good. So first, you need your essentials, and then we're going to go to the gym. This is the outfit of the day. Got this machine. Personally, I don't know if I like their workout clothes. It makes my body look very bulky. But anywho, let's jump into the workout. So lately, I've just been trying to practice doing like more of a calisthenic. This is not completely calisthenics, but people who do like body exercises with their own body weight, they be so toned. So I'm trying to move away from the machines and get more into just using my own body weight with a little help, a little additional weight, like a dumbbell or something to assist me. So this workout is a hip thrust yes i'm gonna be doing hip thrust i think i did about 30 of these and it does help if you pause when you come at the top and let me tell you this exercise don't play around like i really thought like i took took it for a joke until like you start doing a circuit because what you're going to see is i'm going to go through about four exercises and then i repeat all four of those exercises and do them all over again three times so this is my circuit workout but yeah, as you see my face, I'm like, oh shit, bro. Like, it's really digging in those glutes. So, yeah. So, like I told you guys, this exercise helps strengthen the muscles in the hips, the buttocks, and the, the quadriceps. So, they're really good at working those areas. I don't, it's all I work out in the gym is legs and arms because after my tummy tuck, that's the only place, bro, that's where I gain weight at. So here you see me go immediately, immediately, like I mean immediately, you go right into this modified push up Let's not call it girl push up because these push ups will work. They pay off if you do them correctly. Let me tell you, they really help. And it's the only thing that really gets uh, my muscles as toned as I would like them. And then while I do 10 regular modified push ups, I go into these Superman push ups you see. Ooh, they hurt. I do five of those. And then I go back into doing the modified push ups. So overall, I think I maybe do like 20 push ups. Yeah, 20 push ups. 20 push ups would do it. Yeah. These push-ups actually work out um, your chest, back, shoulders, biceps, and triceps. And they even strengthen your core. So definitely try it. I, like to, I do not like to take breaks between exercises. Just literally go right into the next one. So the next exercise you see me doing is post squat. And they're called post squats because you don't do a full squat. The cool thing about this exercise is that it isolates the, like, the active muscles and fatigues them way more quickly, which helps build their endurance. So when I tell you this thing does not play, it don't play. But it also helps with your glutes and hamstrings and um, your quadriceps. Um, this is a new exercise I've been doing, but it's very effective and I will include it more. So now you see me set my timer to 45 seconds and I'm doing the ropes. One of my favorite things to do. All right, so why do I incorporate ropes into my workout? Honestly, when I leave the gym, I like to be tachycardic, like almost to the point where you're about to defib me. So like, and ropes help with that. They help you, when you lift heavy ropes, they help you maximize your heart rate and also increase your power, strength, flexibility, and endurance. So I love ropes. Usually I like to do the ones on the ground where you hit the ground with, but this gym, Planet Fitness, took them out. And so I'm left with these raggedy ropes. And it's like, it's not giving her any luxury lifestyle because as a regular girl, I worked out at Planet Fitness. So don't come over here thinking I'm about to be doing some luxury. No, this is a regular channel, bro. Again, I like to leave the, the gym drenched in sweat. I mean, everybody doesn't do that, but that works for me. Like my whole motto at the gym is to keep moving, stay tacky, meaning just keep my heart rate up so that I can burn fat. And just when I leave the gym drenched in sweat, I feel accomplished. I feel like a movie star. I It really gets Beyonce when I walk out in the gym sweaty like that. Like, I don't fuck around. That's not for everybody, but that's for me. That's how my body works best. I'm, and when I exercise, it's to be sweaty. So this next exercise you see me doing is, I guess this is a kickback machine. I'm not sure. Like I said, I work out glutes and my legs. And this, this actually works out glutes and hamstrings. So, I'm not, this is new in my routine. I'm not like a fan of it. I'd rather do like donkey kicks or something. Um, so, uh, on to the next workout. But I think I did about 30 of them. I don't know. Like, I don't even remember. <laughs> so, the next exercise you're going to see me go into is the abductor and abduction um, exercise. I love this exercise. It's one of my two favorite exercises. So, this first one, this one really helps with that cocoa bottle, cocoa cola bottle shape, that boom, pow, pow. Yeah, and it gives you that hip to ratio. 
I mean, waist to hip ratio, it makes you look like an illusion, like you, you had a BBL, which you don't. And I love that for me. Um, so, yeah, and it really uh, gets rid of your, like, um, if you have hip dips, I'm, it doesn't get rid of them, but it helps, like, make them less visible. The second workout is it works your inner thighs. So, if you, you have, like, if you got big thigh problems like me, and if you don't work out your hips, start, I mean, your thighs start to rub together, you may want to start doing this. This will help tone that inner thigh up. And I notice when I do this a lot more in the gym, when I wear shorts, I'm way more confident because my damn thighs are not rubbing together about to make a fire. You see, I'm grabbing my ass yeah, because they really be working it, girl. And not only does it work your butt and your inner and outer thigh, it also helps stabilize your legs also. Like, what I know is a lot of guys don't do this exercise and they should. And that's why when they're lifting heavy, they be about to buckle their dang on knees because, or their knees start shaking because they have not strengthened the outside of their hips to stabilize them. So if you like to lift heavy, this is a good thing to do also. I love this workshop, especially this one right here. Love it because I'm not making fire. I'm not chafing, none of that. This really helps because... You know, big thighs running my family. Everybody got big thighs. Even if you got a little booty, you got big thighs. My grandma really cursed us. So, hey. Last but not least, your girl always in her videos with cardio. Now, I'm not getting on the treadmill and running for thousands of miles. No, that's not what I like to do short and efficient cardio. So, I learned when I was in the military that if I walk at an incline of 15, which you see me doing here, the highest incline that the machine has and then i put it on about a 3.5 to 3.6 speed man the amount of calories you can burn you will burn way more calories doing this than running for howard mouse and let me and don't get me wrong i used to love to just just run but like i said i don't got to be a fat ass so running it does not suit me well no more so i start off um i end my workouts like this i do 15 minutes so I usually do the incline for about 13 minutes. And then in the last two minutes, you'll see I'll do either a little run or a sprint. Or sometimes I'll just like three, last three minutes, I'll do a run or a sprint. And I usually start my run at about 5.5, 5.6. And then the last like 30 seconds, I sprint maybe at a six or 6.5 speed. So that's what I like to do. Uh, when I'm lifting like heavy with the machines, I do this last but if I'm having a light workout which I did on this day was a light workout I should have did 30 minutes of cardio before my workout so it depends on what I'm doing when I do my cardio but I've read that if you do cardio after you get done lifting anything it's way better and way more effective and your body won't look as bulky so that's what I've been trying to do lately it's something new that I'm incorporating into my workout I don't know if it's paying off because like I said you can now you cannot outwork you can't outwork a bad diet and so i really just need to get my shit together but my channel is all about being transparent and real with you guys i had a tummy tuck and this is the ways that i manage my weight and manage my tummy tuck um it's part of working out and not only that as a person who suffers from depression i have to work out like it, it, it's not like oh like no i need it i need those endorphins or not i'm gonna be sad as fuck so this helps me and that's, and that's i'm dead that's serious i'm not even this not this is like a me a transparency moment like i need to work out it helps me so yeah so here you see me slowing down out of breath like a fat ass i am but it's all good i'm getting there so if you have a tummy tuck i've just had recently had surgery um and you're watching this thank you for watching it i will advise to get in the gym and clean up your diet like i said i gained so much weight from nursing school and i'm the heaviest i've ever been in my life i got up to 224 i'm currently down to like 213 so we still got like 10 more freaking pounds um and then i think i think 190 is my goal so after your workouts you should always feel like a bad bitch i don't care who you are and that's what i'm doing i'm checking myself out in the mirror getting hyped so i can go to school the king because i did what needed to be done today period this is how you should look after a workout i'm fucking tired look at this they got the butter from the duck today and also i don't know 
if y'all experience this, but I sweat long after my workouts. Like, I'm just a sweaty person. I don't, I don't know. Like, but you know, always smooth the king after workout. I get the strawberry activated recovery. Cause I'm probably not gonna eat. 